BZ exclusive, our cameras were recording as a bazooka round was pulled from the Charles River in Needham. This prompted the bomb squad to respond, and it was the second dangerous discovery in just days. WBC's Brandon Truitt is live near the scene with how WBC became a part of this story. Brandon. Yeah, Chris, to say something is in the water here might be an understatement. We were actually here uh, shooting a separate story about magnet fishing when one of the men pulled a bazooka round out of the river. Oh, my God. Oh my God, I'm shaking right now. It is a moment you will only see on WBZ. Josh Parker realizing he was reeling in more than he bargained for. He and his buddies were magnet fishing Wednesday over the Kendrick Street Bridge in Needham. The cone shaped head, the fins on the bottom, I can see some wires. The magnet fishers pulling what appears to be an ordinance out of the Charles River are David Wade right there as this moment was setting in. I'm speechless, I'm shaking, I'm, you know, Nervous, <laughs> but I'm too. I'm almost too nervous to take my magnet off. Parker and others in his magnet fishing group called 911. State police arrived and confirmed this was a deteriorating World War II bazooka round. They took it off scene and detonated it hours later. Holy cow, guys! But it was just last week when Parker's friend Sean Martell found another ordinance while magnet fishing over the same bridge. State police confirming this discovery was a live ordinance from the same era. It was safely disposed of too. Something happened here. The Kendrick Street Bridge is heavily traveled by drivers and pedestrians, and now there is growing talk that dive teams could be sent down to see what else is underneath it. Chances are, with being in the water so long, it's not really dangerous, but when you're dealing with something that literally could explode, you want to be very, very careful. So I spoke with an explosive expert who tells me that these things are good until they come in contact with something, be it maybe a magnet. He says you could always uh, assume that these things are going to be live if you ever see one or come in contact with one. We're live in Needham. Brandon Truett, WBZ News. What a story. Brandon, thank you.